going to show you guys how to set up a Spectrum DX5C or DX5 Rugged to operate a winch. I'm going to use my Axial SCX6 that's got a Reefs servo winch that's got an internal winch controller. Same theory applies to a winch that's got an external controller as well. Let's get started. So once your winch is installed and plugged into an auxiliary channel on your receiver, we need to assign it. So what we are going to do is we're going to go into the menu and we're going to go down to auxiliary assign. And then what we're going to do is mine is auxiliary two because I have a two speed transmission for one, but you'll just select whatever auxiliary channel you plug your servo winch into or winch controller. Our input is going to be which button we want to assign to control it. I prefer either E or F down here. Although if you use E, it's actually assigned the steering dual rate. So you'll have to turn that off or else whenever you operate your servo winch, you will also change your steering rate. So I actually prefer to use F and that's what I'm gonna assign it to. So let's go and we'll select F. And you'll see it's already set up for three position, which is what we want. And it's set up for momentary active. Now what that means is that when you press the button, the winch will run. When you let go of it, it'll instantly stop, which is what we want. So then I can hit back. And now if I hit button F, you'll see that it operates the winch just how we want for right now. I'm gonna show you a neat trick though, where you can actually do mixing with the throttle. So if we go into our mixing menu and under mix zero, we go to master and we are going to set that to throttle. We're gonna to go to slave and we're gonna set that as our winch channel, which in my case is auxiliary two. I already set my rates up just so you guys didn't have to wait for that, but you're gonna set your rates all the way up to 100%. Your switch is gonna be what you're gonna to want to activate this mixing. I'm gonna use button D. So I just need to go through and select D. And then you can leave the submenu underneath it the way it is. Now what this does, you can still use your normal button here to run the winch. If I give it throttle, you'll see the winch also runs. It goes in, it goes out with the throttle. If I press down on D, sorry, up on D, it will stop. If I press down on D, now it works with the, with the wheels. So now you can actually select if you want it to work with the throttle, or you can always still just run it off your other auxiliary button separately. And now you have two different ways to operate your winch.